I'm about to give you guys the big reveal. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Today's vlog is very exciting because I'm about to go into the hair salon and get my hair chopped off. I did not even tell you guys that I was doing this because I don't know, I just... I didn't want everyone else's opinion, I guess, about it, even though you're gonna give it to me anyway, but I just wanted to do it. Like, I didn't want anyone to tell me to keep my long hair because I know that a lot of you guys liked it, and I really like it too. Like, it's been really fun having long hair, but it's a lot of work, and I'm just ready to chop it off. So I'm actually going to have her chop off about five inches of my hair, so we're gonna move the extensions up. I still wanna keep them in for fullness, so I'm gonna have her chop it um, like five inches off or so, so we're gonna be like up here, so I'm gonna definitely have shorter hair but I am so pumped I'm also gonna have her add some color to it just some lighter pieces throughout to add some dimension and hopefully I love it but at the end of the day now that I realize what it's like to have long extensions in if I hate the shorter hair I will literally just put long extensions back in and it'll be like it never happened so the risk is minimal because I don't mind having hair extensions so I know that if I don't like the short hair I can just fill my hair up with extensions and we'll be you know back to having long hair again if I like it but I think it'll be really good for my hair because I told you guys my hair is so damaged like my real hair underneath the extensions so cutting that is going to really help with the growth of my own hair so that's part of the reason why I want to do it but I figured if I'm going to do that I might as well just like experience shorter hair and cut the extensions too and just kind of you know have some fun with it why not okay it's several hours later and i'm about to give you guys the big reveal i freaking love it you guys i have never had my hair this short before but it looks so good it feels so healthy i feel like i needed to have it cut so badly and we just added a little bit of color to it as you can see and i think it looks amazing it feels so healthy and i don't know i think the short hair it's a look. I'm back in the car now with Chad and we are heading to go pick my car up and I'm so excited. I had to be without my baby for two days, but luckily I didn't really go anywhere yesterday. So I only had one day of having really to drive this car and it wasn't that bad. I just exaggerate because of course I love my car. And also Chad really said he liked my hair. My sister really likes it too. And I feel like this is a nice change for me. Well, I am back home now and I just got my Sephora order in. A few days ago, I did a massive shopping spree on Sephora because I had gift cards from Christmas that I've been wanting to use. I told you guys I need a new curling iron since my Violionic one uh, just randomly decided to stop working and then there was a few things that I really wanted to get. So I just did it all in one big swoop. I've got hair care, I've got a new heat tool, some new foundation, and an eyeshadow palette, and I'm just gonna do a big Sephora haul. So I'm gonna start out with the two main things first, and the first thing is this curling iron. Um, I didn't know which curling iron I should go with, but I've heard good things about GHD, and I know they've been around for a while, so I decided to go with the GHD Curve Iron Soft Curl. This is specifically supposed to give you soft curls, and since I cut my hair short, I wanted one that was, I guess, like a pretty thick barrel so that I could get really loose waves. So I decided to go with this one. It's a one and a quarter inch barrel. Here's what it looks like. So I will give you guys updates if I think this works as well as I'm hoping it will. It heats up really quick. It has a two year warranty and I'm actually going to make sure I register it because clearly I had a really bad experience with the last curling iron that I didn't actually register. And then the next thing is some new hair care. I love the brand Briogeo, probably saying that wrong, but I've used their leave-in conditioner for years and it's like the only thing that gets my tangles out. So I decided I would try out their shampoo and conditioner, but I really liked this little pack here because it comes with the don't despair repair shampoo and conditioner which is the same as the leave-in that I use but it also comes in with a deep conditioning mask and a strengthening treatment oil so it's kind of like a big box and you get all of this and it was a pretty reasonable price because these are 16 ounce bottles of shampoo and conditioner so I'm very very excited I love this brand and I love the way that their products smell. So we're just revamping the hair. I really wanted some new hair products since I knew I was cutting my hair and I'm just like ready to start fresh and start working on growing out my hair in a healthy way. <laughs> and going along with that, I also decided to get these slip hair ties. These are expensive, but they're actually like silk hair ties, like true silk hair ties. So I'm very excited to try them. Um, I got the smaller ones. Let me just open this and show you guys. 
Um, I got like the skinnier ones. These are called the Pure Silk Skinny Scrunchies and it comes in like a pink color, a nude color, and a black color. You get six of them. So these are very expensive, but I just hear so many good things about them and their pillowcases, but I didn't get the pillowcase. Well, I really wanted to try them because I, I don't know. I just want a nice silky soft hair tie that's not going to pull my hair out. So we're going to try that. Um, and then let's move on to makeup. So I decided to try out the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue uh, Moisturizing Makeup. So right now, like my everyday foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And one of you guys actually told me to try this. And it's so funny because when you messaged me, I actually had already purchased this. I was waiting for it to come in because um, I've heard good things about it. But this is supposed to be like a more hydrating version of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And then to go along with that, I just got another concealer. This is the one that I always use. This is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Been using this for a while. I got three little Ren skincare products. These were free. I can't remember if I used points for this or it was free. I think it was free because I spent enough to where I got to pick out like three samples from them. So I got the Ready Steady Glow Tonic. So I'm excited to try this and then the overnight recovery balm and these are all Ren skincare and then the clean screen mineral SPF 30 mattifying face sunscreen. This will be perfect for the summertime because I can't wait to get back to the beach if it ever stops being cold. So I decided to try this iconic London illuminator. Um, this is like a liquid highlighter that so many people use. I see it in makeup tutorials all the time. I see it every time when I like see someone that's got like that perfect glow online. I see like their makeup routine. It's this. So I'm like, I have to see if this is really worth the hype and I'll let you guys know. It's, I don't know. I just got the original one. It's called Be Iconic. And it's like, I'm gonna just open it for you guys because I bet as soon as I show you, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I recognize that. I've seen that literally everywhere. Here it is. Literally, it's called Iconic and it is Iconic. So I can't wait to try this. And then last but not least, I got the new Tarte palette, which I'm so excited about. Tarte has been one of the palettes that I use the most, like the regular Tarte palette, Tarte lip palette, and then the Tarte lip and bloom palette, and then the Tarte lip like red one, can't remember the name of it. Um, but I use those palettes all the time. They're truthfully my most used eyeshadow palettes. So when they came out with this, which was literally just recently, I was like, I have to have it. It's got so many pretty colors and I feel like this is just the perfect palette going into spring. The colors are so pretty. I'm gonna have so much fun doing my makeup tomorrow. So that is everything that I got from Sephora. I'll link it all in the description. Very excited to try all this stuff. Pretty much all of it's new to me products, except for my concealer. Everything else is new stuff to try, which I love. I'm excited. Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning and it's almost 7 a.m. And I am at the gym and it felt good to come at this time. I felt like I needed a little bit of extra sleep this morning. So usually I'll wake up at six. At least last week, my routine was waking up at six getting dressed, rushing out of the house and trying to get here at like 6.30. But this morning I decided to sleep and then just get out of the house around 6.30 to get here. I like going into the gym when the sun's up already almost because I feel like I have accepted that it's time to wake up now. <laughs> like my body knows versus when I go in and it's still dark out. I like, I don't know, my brain just like thinks it's time for bed. Anyways, enough about my problems. I'm gonna really quickly eat this cashew strawberry bar. I was supposed to eat it on my way and I honestly forgot. <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna go in and get my workout on. I didn't vlog yesterday, guys. Honestly, I just felt like I needed a little break. This week has been a bit of an off week for me, not gonna lie. I've had a little bit of lack of motivation. I've still done good with like my eating and I'm obviously still getting my workouts in, but um, the motivation hasn't been there. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I guess like, you know, I somebody commented and actually said like motivation comes and goes. It's like the discipline that matters and that like really resonated with me. So whoever commented that, like very true. I'm trying to stay disciplined even though this week's been like off with my motivation. <laughs> Okay guys, I just got out and here are today's stats. If my camera wants to focus, 205 active calories, 268 total. My workout was 55 minutes today. Now I'm drinking my protein shake and I'm super excited to get home because I have chia seed pudding waiting for me.
a little bit later now. I'm actually in the middle of packing orders, but I wanted to tell you guys that I curled my hair today with that GHD curling iron that I got from Sephora, and it is amazing. It was so easy to curl my hair, and I really feel like it lives up to the name of soft curls because... Like, I feel like I couldn't mess it up because um, some of the pieces I held on for longer, some of them I let go right away, and I feel like the curls just all kind of turned out the same, and I find that when I curl my hair, like, that's the hardest part is getting every piece to look the same, and I feel like that curling iron made it really easy. So I really like the curling iron. I'll link it again in the description. Actually, I'll just go ahead and show you guys it again. My hair keeps sticking to my mouth, but um, here it is. I also really like that the button is underneath the clamp because I don't know if anyone else does this but whenever I'm curling my hair I always accidentally like turn it off or click buttons while I'm curling it and the fact that it's like hidden underneath the clamp the on button it like makes it really easy so I love it I have tons of orders to pack and then I also have tons of inventory to go through but it feels so good to be back to productivity today I basically just took yesterday off I'm not gonna lie I didn't really do much at all and it was so nice sometimes you need that and i feel like i have this mentality that i just like have to go 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 and i don't give myself a break when i need to so it was nice to just chill Okay, I just finished packing orders and I also just changed into some leggings and a different t-shirt, just something more comfortable because I'm gonna go run errands. I have to go take those to the post office and then I'm gonna grab lunch while I'm out and then I have a return to make at Ulta. Just dropped off the packages and now I am heading to Ulta to do my return really quick. And then I'm also gonna look for a nude lipstick while I'm in there because I want a more nude lipstick than the one that I currently have. I have a few nudes that are like more pinky nude, which is usually what I prefer, but I really want to try like a true nude. So we're going to see if we can find one in Ulta. <laughs> I finished in Ulta and I'm now heading to Chick-fil-A to get lunch. It just sounded good and I'm gonna get a salad. It was so good the last time I got it and um, it's healthy so why not go to Chick-fil-A? I also, while I was in Ulta, got some more cotton rounds because I needed some and then I did find a nude lipstick. I decided to get the KKW Beauty Nude One. This is like a really popular one and the girl at Ulta told me it was good so decided to try it. I'm back home now and I got my Chick-fil-A and I'm really sad because I asked for the chicken strips and they gave me the grilled chicken nuggets instead 
it's okay not the end of the world their chicken's amazing either way but i always feel like this happens to me every time i go through a dang drive through like why am i the one who always gets the order wrong either way it looks delicious i got the light balsamic vinaigrette this is the same dressing i got last time i love their ranch avocado dressing but it is um a lot of calories so this one's like only 90 calories so that's why i chose this one you know i got a diet coke because it just goes so well with the salad. <laughs> it's way later now and I'm in the car with Chad and we are at Costco grabbing gas really quick and then we're meeting his parents for dinner at this really nice steak and seafood restaurant and I'm so pumped. I'm actually glad that we're getting there before them because we can just sit at the table. Like we have reservations but his parents are running a little bit behind. So we were like worried if we should push the reservation back but we decided we're just gonna go get a table, get the table and just sit down and have a drink, right? That is right. Just hang out, just relax. What are you drinking? Are you getting a mixed drink or are you doing beer? I'll probably have a glass of wine to go with my steak. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna get steak. I think I'm gonna get a crab cake. This place has really good crab cakes. Mm -hmm. 